Hello friends, today in this video I'm going to be recapping the 2016 horror thor film Lights Out. Lights Out centers around a young woman that must unlock the terror behind her little brother's experiences that once tested her sanity, bringing her face to face with a supernatural spirit attached to their mother and will only stay in the dark. Stick around to find out if Rebecca can defeat the spirit or if she will be taken down by the evil entity, Diana. Because spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins in an office with a man that is working late, and his son calls him asking if he can come home soon because their mom is acting up and he is scared. The father says he will close up soon and head home straight afterwards. The father's assistant is helping him close up shop, and whenever she is turning off some lights, she sees a figure in the dark but doesn't want to go near it. She tells Paul to be careful on his way out, and he says he will. A few minutes later, and Paul is about to head home, whenever he sees the same figure in the dark that his assistant did, he freaks out and runs back to his office whenever the figure attacks him. The figure will only come out in the dark, though, so he does his best to keep the lights on, but unfortunately, they go black and he is killed by the entity scene, we go meet our main character, Rebecca, and her boyfriend, Brett, lying in bed together at Rebecca's apartment. Rebecca kicks him out because she wants some sleep, and they aren't official, and she doesn't want to get attached to him. We find out that Rebecca is the daughter of the man that was killed in the beginning of the movie. Rebecca has a brother named Martin, and their mother's name is Sophie. We go meet Martin next, and he is frightened of something, and he starts walking around the house, looking for his mom, and when he finds her, she is talking to herself or something in a room, and Martin is completely freaked out. Martin sees that his mom is looking into a dark closet and has no idea what she would be talking to. Martin then sees a hand come out of the closet and he runs to his bed as fast as possible because he is so scared. Hell, I would be too, Martin. Stay. Martin is falling asleep at school because he is so frightened at home. At night, so Martin's counselor calls Rebecca to come and pick him up because her mom wasn't answering her phone. And the counselor is worried about Martin and his home life. The counselor is even talking about child services, which saddens Rebecca. And she says that isn't necessary, but since Rebecca isn't his legal guardian, the counselor has to report it. Rebecca takes Martin home, and whenever they are about to go inside, Martin tells her that Diana is back, and Rebecca is almost scared of the name being spoken. Rebecca goes to talk to Sophie and asks her how long she has been off her meds, and thinks it might be related to Diana being back. Rebecca tells Sophie she is taking Martin for a few days, and Sophie, Sophie should use those days to get back on her feet and start taking her medicine again. Later that night, Rebecca is awakened by noises in her apartment, and whenever she turns on her light, the noises stop, but when she turns it off, she sees Diana scratching the floor, and when Diana jumps at her, luckily, a light turns on and saves Rebecca's life. Rebecca obviously used to be tormented by Diana when she was living with her parents. The next day, Child Services shows up to Rebecca's apartment to take Martin back to his mom because his mom called him in that Rebecca took him without her permission. Next thing we see is Rebecca having a flashback of her childhood when she was drawing pictures one day she heard Diana in her closet and whenever she went to look inside, Diana gave her a different drawing saying she wanted to take Rebecca's place in Sophie's life. Diana loves Sophie and wants her all to herself. Rebecca and Brett make their way over to Sophie's house and they cannot find her anymore and while they are looking, Rebecca notices all the phone lines have been cut off and pictures of Sophie and Diana are back hanging up on the wall. Rebecca finds files in her dad's old office showing that Diana and Sophie were patients at a psychiatric ward and were best friends, but whenever Sophie started getting better by taking her medicine, Diana did everything in her power to make sure Sophie stayed at the hospital with her. Rebecca also reads how a light therapy session went wrong on Diana, which caused her to only be able to live in the dark and could not see light or else it will hurt her like a supernatural thing. Rebecca goes into her old room where she sees all of the light bulbs have been removed in the room and there are more drawings of Diana with Sophie. Diana then slams the door shut and tells Rebecca that she will stay away from the house or else she will hurt their entire family and then lifts her up from the ceiling to show her how serious she is. Diana tells Rebecca that she will not be sent away again. Sophie and Martin are having a movie night one night, and Sophie wants to tell Martin about Diana and how she's going to be living with them going forward, which completely freaks out Martin, and he is not happy about it one bit. Diana then shows up in the room behind Martin, and she is about to hurt him until he runs to turn on the lights, and then he sprints out of the house over to Rebecca's apartment. Rebecca then tells Martin everything she knows about Diana and how evil she is and how she ended up how she did. She had a skin disorder that caused her to look very ugly and when she tried the light therapy, it went completely wrong and just made everything worse. Rebecca thinks that the mom is the only connection Diana has to the real world now and if they can get her better, Diana will disappear from the world. Someone knocks on the door and when Rebecca goes to check it, no one is there. They then hear a noise from the closet and out of nowhere, Diana tries pulling Martin underneath the bed, but Rebecca saves him just in time. 
Rebecca, Brett, and Martin all go over to their mom's house to talk to Sophie and see if she will spill everything she knows about Diana so they can find a way to get rid of her once and for all. It doesn't work, and Sophie won't even entertain the idea that Diana isn't real, and Diana has gone in her head once again. They all decide to stay at Sophie's house so they can make sure she gets better and take her medicine. Brett will sleep downstairs while Rebecca will sleep with Martin to make him feel safe. Rebecca goes to talk to Sophie, and we can tell Sophie is very distressed about something, and she hands Rebecca a note that has the words help me written on it, so she is afraid of what Diana is capable of and doesn't want her to know she is feeling unsafe. As they are sleeping, Rebecca hears something coming from downstairs, so she goes to check it out with her handy dandy flashlight. All of the power lights have been shut off in the house, so all they have are emergency lights. Even resetting the breaker isn't turning the lights back on, so we can assume Diana did something to them. Martin starts walking around the house with a candle until Diana comes to try and grab him, but he luckily gets away and finds Rebecca downstairs. Diana then closes the basement door and locks him downstairs. Brett tries coming to save them, but Diana starts attacking him and chases, chases him around the house. Brett manages to run outside, and just in a nick of time, he turns on the car lights and makes Diana disappear. Rebecca and Martin are still locked downstairs, and their emergency lights are about to go out, and they need to find more as soon as possible before Diana gets to them. Rebecca starts a fire in the chimney and is hoping it's enough to keep Diana away from them. Martin finds a black light that he gives to Rebecca to use while she goes and looks for more supplies. The black light reveals a bunch of words written on the wall by Diana in the basement about how much she loves Sophie and how she's going to take out the rest of the family. Diana then shows up and tries to grab Rebecca, but Martin goes to save the day with his light, and Rebecca comes to the conclusion that they can see Diana with the black light and she can't hide from it. Brett then arrives with the police back to the house in hopes of saving Martin and Rebecca from the basement. Diana goes boss mode and takes out both cops with relative ease. Rebecca runs and gets Martin safely outside with Brett, and she goes back into the house in hopes of saving her mom as well. Diana and Rebecca start fighting with one another until Sophie shows up and offed herself because she knows if she doesn't exist, then Diana won't exist either. And the movie ends with Rebecca promising Martin he will live with her and everything will be okay.